Good day, thank you so much for joining us. We are live here again. And as you can see right in front of us, we have Mr. Kunle Adeyoju, the lion's heart. And we'll have to speak with him. You know, you guys have sent a series of questions over the week, week, and we are here to ask him those questions. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Adebimpe Olajika, and this is Punch Newspaper. Good day, sir. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening, sir. So, sir, can you tell us, uh, summarize your trip? How was it? It's been a heck of a ride. Uh, you know, riding almost uh, about 12 hours some of the most serious places of have. So, 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 Okay, sir, um, one thing that people really want to know, they want you to fully introduce yourself. Tell us your full name, your state of origin, your marital status and all that. Let us get to know you better. Okay, my name is David Adekunle I'm from Kwara State. Offer to be precise with Kwara State. Um, you want to know my marital status? Yeah. It's complicated. Okay. okay. Well, I have children. Okay. But the other part is complicated. Okay. Um, Okay, that's fine. How long have you been in London and what's the aim of your trip? Uh, basically, um, I'm Nigerian based, but my family lives in London, so we've been there for maybe 35 years. Yeah. But uh, I shot you. Sorry, sir. All right, thank you so much, sir. I would also like to ask, and uh, what were the challenges you faced during the trip? And can you take us, like, give us a summary of the countries you passed from um, Europe to Africa? Okay, so like you know, I started the trip from London. Yes. So from London, I went to. France. Then from Bogis, I went to Corona in Spain. Then from Corona, I went to Valencia. From Valencia to Cartagena. Cartagena to Algeciras. All this in Spain. Then I crossed into Morocco. Then I crossed into Morocco. Then the one in Morocco, you know, I went to Rabat, to Casablanca, to Marrakech, into Agadir, like you. And I crossed into Mauritania, where I passed through Luanda, Noa Jones, Rosso. Then I crossed into St. Louis in Senegal. Then I went to the car. Then from the car, I went into, I went into Tambacunga, then I impressed Mali. Then I went to Kai, then I went to Bamako. Then from Bamako, I went into Burkina uh, Faso, that's Bobodina City. Then from Bobodina, so I went to Kotoko. That's the Amasu and Abidjan. Then from Abidjan, I went into Accra, Ghana, where I crossed from Cape Coast to that's the Mogu border to Cape Coast into Accra. Then from Accra to Lomé, Lomé to Benin. All right, thank you so much, sir. This is actually a long trip for it to take 41 days. I'd like to ask, what's the motivation behind this trip? Yeah, you know, for me, like I said, it's all about giving back. It's all about using my skill, my lifestyle, to touch the lives of the less privileged. I look at it that every one of us will be blessed. Some people may say there's is not a problem. So that thing in your hand, that thing you can give it, those things you can give and rather, how can you use it to touch the lives of other people? That's what I'm so, sir, um, we can see that you are trying to. Be, your bike has this end polio and all that. Like, what, what's the reason? What's the push? Well, for me, you know, like I said, when I started, I was gonna do this right, and I was gonna use it to support the people. I chose polio because the price of polio is the best thing. I 
do anything within my means to make sure another children doesn't go to that school and doesn't have that experience, then I'm going to do it. Okay, sir, thank you so much. Uh, for the 40, 41 days, how many kilometers did you cover? Uh, I covered 12,000 kilometers in total. Okay. okay. And 12,000 kilometers. No, 12,000. Sorry, sir, you can continue, sir. 12,000 kilometers. Okay. Uh, I didn't write all those. You are great. Excuse me, sir. Sorry, can you round up? So round up. Sorry, sorry. I'm with you, sir. The 12,000 kilometers were not right in every area. There are some days where I had to do some humanitarian work, which is like actually going to the field to immunize children, meeting with people who are volunteers doing this work, you know, and encouraging them engaged in meeting with the world and organizations. So there are a lot of things I could have to do. I made everything extend to 40 days. Okay, so how do you intend to go back? <laughs> I'll fly back. <laughs> <laughs> and what's your plans for Eagle, your, your power bike? Uh, I'm going to auction the bike. You're going to auction the I'll bike? I'll auction the bike and the post is going to charge Okay, so we've heard you talk a lot about Zainab. What's your plan for her? And what's, what's special about Zainab? And just tell us how you met her. Zainab is not I knew Zainab six months ago. And we've been talking and six months all right thank you so much sir. one last question we've had so many people talk about they going through that journey trying to do the same thing you've done what do you have to say to them well if you want to do it this is the last question if you want to do the right i encourage everyone to go ahead and do it. It's test your limits you know it will inspire you you will discover your limits but i also read a comment from a lot of people thinking that is the way they will go to it is a lot difficult. It's easier to go by the night than that because at every point it's not very difficult for that person. So if it's to escape from Nigeria, which is not the way to go. All right. Thank you so much, sir. I really appreciate you. Congratulations. Yeah. So we are still live here uh, in Ikeja and we just finished speaking with. Mr. Kule Adeyoju, and I'm trying to see if I can locate Zainab. Sorry, Miss Zainab, please, can I have an interview with, interview with you? has said a lot about Ms. Zainab, how she assisted him during um, the trip, how we met her again in Ivory Coast and we would like to hear from her directly. So now, um, coming right in front of me is Miss Zainab. Hi, Miss Zainab. Sorry. Hi, Miss Zainab. Um, punch newspaper. Not, uh, not a question about wedding. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't worry. You are safe. <laughs> nice to meet you. Thank you so much for this privilege. Can you please introduce yourself? Uh, I'm Zena Piano. I'm Rotarian. Uh, I'm consultant on information system management. What country are you from? I come from Cote d'Ivoire. Oh, you come from? Okay, uh, you've told me not to speak about marriage or any other thing, but I just want to ask, how long have you known Mr. Kunle Adeyoju? Uh, what do you think 
Please, please, can you come, please? Can we leave here? Sorry, it's kind of noisy. Uh, please, can you just give us a few seconds. I'm trying to make sure that the audio is perfect for you to get everything that uh, Miss Zainab has to say. Oh, yes, ma, we stopped from your country and I asked you that how long have you known Mr. Kunle Adeyonju? Okay, thank you so much, Ma. Um, so far, we learned that you came all the way from Ivory Coast to Nigeria with him. How true is that? You, you, you heard what? That you came all the way from Ivory Coast to Nigeria alongside, like with him. How true is that? How true? No, I come from with him. Okay, with him? Not. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. All right, thank you so much, Ma. So, is there any special thing you have to say to him, like to congratulate him or anything? Uh, you know, I don't know if you saw the video when he was in Sarah. Okay. I think uh, this uh, video expressed how this was hard. Uh, the story also uh, about this uh, part of the trip. It was really difficult. And uh, he did it for ending for you. And what I would like to say to you for this was and for each dollar that they give, they said people in Paris don't know be the Melinda Gates Foundation is two dollars more. So please continue to remain continuous. All right, thank you so much, ma. I'm not asking about marriage, but have you ever thought uh, at all that you ever get married to a Nigerian? Have you ever imagined it or anything like that? People, uh, people love uh, good stories. <laughs> thank you so much mom thank you so much for joining us uh, at this point we think we'll have to call it a day um, with mr kule adeyoju uh, just so you know let's go back let's take a recap mr kule adeyoju is a man who embarked on a charity um drive from london to lagos he, uh, he arrived in Lagos today around uh, 10, 10 a.m. And now he's here at the Rotary Club in Ikeja. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. In case you missed our previous live on um, the um, on the way he was welcomed into the country, you can go back to watch it. It's on our social media platform. Um, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notification for by the second news update. My name is still Adebinpe Olajika and I'll say goodbye from here.